Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Nadia Kansa and I am 11 years old. I'm from Anna Middle School and today I'm here to tell you a story that is about the seventh princess. Okay, now let's get started. Once upon a time in Dumai, there was a kingdom named Saribungan Tanjung. It was ruled by a beautiful queen whose name was Chiksima. She had seven good-looking daughters. But out of seven, the youngest daughter, Mayang Sari, was the most beautiful. One day, the seven princesses took a bath in Sarang Umay pool, making a joke and remaining in the water for a long time. Then, they were noticed by some guys. Those were Prince Ampangkuala and his courtmen who were passing by the pool. The prince was amazed to see those beautiful ladies, but his eyes could not stop watching the most beautiful, Princess Mayang Sari. Seemingly, the prince fell in love with Mayang Sari and set his heart upon marrying her. A few days later, the prince and Pangkwala sent an envoy to the Sari Bungan Tanjung Kingdom for proposing the beautiful princess, that is, Princess Mayang Sari. Bringing to Pak City, the envoy delivered the message of Prince Mpangkwala. In a lavish kingdom ritual, the proposal was welcomed splendidly by Queen Chiksima. And as a reply to the prince, Queen Chiksima put Kambir and Erikanak into the biggest box among the seven combos in the Tepak City, while the other boxes were left empty. So this tradition was to show that she approved of the proposal. However, instead of the younger, it should be addressed to the oldest. Knowing that the proposal was rejected, the envoy rode his horses back to the kingdom in despair. He explained everything about the proposal, which was rejected by the queen. The prince is very mad. The prince ordered his commander and soldiers to attack Sari Bunga Tanjung Kingdom. During the war, the Queen Tixima ordered her commander to take her seven daughters to the jungle. They hide them in a hole covered by trees and bushes. And for the food supplies, the Queen ordered the commander to bring some three months for food supplies. Three months has passed. The war is still broke out. The kingdom is completely destroyed. In the dark night, the troop of Prince and Pankwala took some rest in downstream. They took shelter under trees. And then something happened. The troops were terminated and attacked with back of food stabbing their heart. Less than a half night. All the troops were terminated. In the next morning, Queen Chiksima rushed for walking to the jungle where all the daughters hid. Unfortunately, after finding out they all had died, they died of thirsty and hunger because there were lack of food. The end. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.